Psych is a college level course meant to replicate a first year psych course. Uh, it's an overview of many different topics of, uh, of psychology. Uh, so it's meant to kind of be an introduction to the subject. What does this class prepare you for? A lot of things. I mean, because it's an AP course, you know, it definitely uh, can get one ready for the uh, rigors of college level study. Uh, but also, I think the nature of the content is very applicable to your life um, and life in general. Uh, is it a difficult class? Uh, it, it does require some work. Uh, I think, uh, you know, if people, uh, if students are willing to put in the effort, um, it's a very doable course. It requires a lot of, uh, uh, of reading uh, from the text, uh, memorization of vocab and terms and things like that. Hey, well, Trevor Fairfield here. Have you ever wondered more about IB Business Management? Why well, I interviewed Mrs. Van Dam to get more information about it. IB Business Management is a class that students can take at West Ottawa High School. You can take it as part of the full diploma program, or you can take it as an individual course. And it covers general business, it covers human resources, marketing, accounting and finance, and operations management. This class prepares you for a variety of things. It could prepare you for a major in college uh, for business someday, and also the class will prepare you for real life. Uh, any job that you have someday is going to use business skills. I would say it is, um, it's not the most difficult class we have at West Ottawa High School, but it's definitely uh, up there. That It's a rigorous, challenging class. It's an international baccalaureate class, so it's meant to be challenging. Students do need to do reading, and we write in the classroom, we think critically, we try to solve problems. Um, it's a fast-paced class. We have a lot of material to get through, so we work hard every day. All students should take a business class before they graduate from high school, whether it's this class or one of the other classes we offer, like personal computers, personal finance, regular accounting, regular marketing, regular management. I'm here with Magic Malachi, and I hear that he does some pretty good magic. So what kind of magic do you do? I do prop tricks, I can do coin tricks, card tricks, basically any kind of magic with any like small, small material. Stop. Are they? Okay, uh, choose that card right there where you're trying to stop. Uh, I'll get back to me. I want you to hold this piece right here and these other pieces should go away. There's a card inside of the orange. So I open it up. should match your card and hold your piece if it fits. Hey West Ottawa, Trevor Fairfield here. Here are your athletic events for the week. Home games. Varsity Tennis plays Granville High School on Wednesday at 4, South Tennis Courts. Varsity Girls Swimming against Sailing on Saturday at 12, South Pool. Varsity Girls Golf against Granville on Tuesday at 3.30 at Magatawa Legends. Varsity Football against Forest Hill Central on Friday at 7. Varsity Volleyball is hosting a tournament on Saturday at 8.30 a.m. in the North Gym. Now for the away games. Varsity Boys Water Polo is at Zeeland High on Wednesday at 7. Varsity Tennis is at Holland Christian High today at 4. Varsity Girls Swimming is at East Kentwood on Thursday at 6. Varsity Girls Golf is at Grand Haven Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Varsity Boys Soccer is at Hudsonville Tuesday at 7.15 and at Rockford on Thursday at 7.15. Come on and support your Panthers, Will. This is Woe Spin. All levels of competitive cheer is right here in the South High School, November 9th from 3.30 to 5.30.
Ninth grade boys basketball tryouts will be here in the South High School gym on November 16th from 4.30 to 6.30. All levels of girls basketball is right here in the North Gym on November 9th from 6 to 7.15 a.m. As well as varsity guys basketball on November 16th from 5.45 to 7.15 a.m. Boys JV basketball tryouts will be here in the auxiliary gym on November 16th from 3.30 to 5.30. Wrestlers, come up to the wrestling room on November 16th from 4 to 6.45 p.m. Hockey tryouts are going to be today, November 2nd, at the Edge Ice Arena from 3.40 to 5 o'clock. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ottawa. We're about to have a rootin' tootin' time on this glorious day. We've got many exciting things planned for you this show, so stay tuned. We could be here. All senior pictures are due Friday, October 9th. Make sure you get them in. Also, all yearbook orders are due tomorrow. If you want to be able to reminisce with your family about how weird you were, then I recommend you get one. Any questions, contact Mr. Drenick at drenickd at westottawa.net. You may also stop by room 171 in the North Building. Are there ways we can make our high school even better? Then you should join West Ottawa Renaissance. Renaissance will be holding their first meeting on Monday, October 5th in room A133 from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Please contact Mrs. McComb or Mrs. Brenner with any questions. Don't forget to turn in your application. Interested in helping out in the community? Want to learn how to take apart and rebuild a computer or help out with events like Wostock? Join CTEE today. Meetings are every Wednesday after school in Mr. Yeager's room A253. Let's hop on our horses and lasso this thing. Yeah! What should seniors be doing now to get ready for college? That's a great question. Seniors should be looking to apply to their top three schools, not just their top number one, um, but the top three schools with the program they're interested in before Halloween. Okay. What do you think about the cost of college? The cost of college is a really tricky, tricky sort of question. Um, the number one thing you can be doing right now is looking for scholarships because that's free money you don't have to pay back and if you don't apply for it, no one's going to give it to you. Um, we'll, we'll worry about loans and that kind of stuff in January when we fill out the free application for federal student aid. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Tonight from 6.30 to 8 p.m., there will be representatives for over 70 colleges. will be held at the Hope College of Voss Fieldhouse be there or be square. Three college representatives are visiting today, Purdue University, DePaul University, and the University of Alabama. If you are interested in meeting with any of these colleges, college representatives, please sign up with Mrs. Van Den Brand at the North Reception Desk. Also, seniors, mark your calendars because Western Michigan University will be here at, on October 14th to do on-site admissions. This is a great opportunity for anyone interested in learning immediately whether or not th we, they've been admitted to Western Michigan University, see Mrs. Van Ordstel, or sign up in, in detail. Are you interested in joining LAUP Youth Program? That's Latin Americans United for Progress. There's an informational kickoff meeting at Collin Park on October 9th from 6 to 7 p.m. with prizes, food, and much more. The homecoming dance is this Saturday night from 8 to 11 p.m. It's bound to be bunches of fun. Tickets will continue to be sold tomorrow at all lunches for only $10 a ticket. And remember, you will not be able to buy your tickets at the door. Ally Week is a week during which students encourage more people to become allies against bullying and harassment in our schools. What can you do to be an ally? Stand up and make a statement. Make a new friend. Use hashtag Ally Week. Be an ally and bring a friend to the GSA meeting this Thursday in room 602 after school. Contact Mr. Kuko or Mr. Foley for more information. Tomorrow is Black and White Day and also the homecoming football game. We will be playing Granville and it's assuring to be a great game. Come out and support our boys. 
West Ottawa seniors, this school year on October 14th, we are offering the ASVAB test that is required if you are interested in any branch of our military for a future career or step prior to a college education. This assessment is voluntary and Mr. Clavette will be sending the class of 2016 an email that will allow you to sign up and take this test if interested. That will need to be done by Friday, October 2nd. If you have any further questions, please see Mr. Clavette in the South Building. Looks like we interviewed Maddie Carter, Carly Edson, and Ellie Bader about Dance Marathon. Let's see what they had to say. So I'm here with three of our NHS officers this year for 2015 and 2016, and they're going to give us a little bit of information on Dance Marathon this upcoming year. So when is Dance Marathon? Dance Marathon this year is March 4, 2016. Our first meeting is October 5th, if you want to volunteer. And we have a meeting at 7 a.m. and a meeting at 3 p.m. There will be donuts in the morning. <laughs> Hashtag WODM! <laughs> Well, well, get your lassos and horsies and kick this day in the tutor. See ya. Hey, Wo, just one more thing. Lily Keen, will you go to homecoming with me? If yes, step outside the classroom. If no, Step outside the classroom. Thanks.